Around this time of year, I love a freshly baked cinnamon roll. And unfortunately, there's not a lot of really good keto cinnamon roll recipes out there. A lot of them are fat head dough based. So the dough is made out of like that cheesy dough. So that whole cinnamon roll actually just kind of has this underlying taste of cheese, which I don't really prefer. I mean, I'll eat it if, if I'm really craving a cinnamon roll. So I've been perfecting a recipe for you guys for keto cinnamon rolls. And I'm happy to report these ones turned out fabulous and they are super easy to make and super fluffy, tons of flavor in them. And you can top them with two different types of frosting too, whether you want to do a cream cheese frosting or just a sweetened glaze, either way it works. And I'll show you how to do them both. So let's get started. Now, before we dive into the recipe, I do want to thank today's sponsor, which is Perfect Keto, because I did use their protein powder in this recipe. I love their protein powders. They're whey-based protein powders. They have really good clean ingredients and they're keto approved. I'll have them linked down below with a special discount for you guys. Uh, the flavors that you could use for this recipe are unflavored or vanilla. They do have a chocolate protein powder too. Um, I wouldn't really use it in my cinnamon rolls because I don't really think I really like the flavor of chocolate and cinnamon, but if you love that combination, feel free to use the chocolate too. And I know that there are some people that don't want to use a whey protein powders because either they're, um, I think they're kosher or um, they're vegan and you could use a vegan protein powder in its place. That does work. I have tried it in my recipes that use this type of dough. To get started on this recipe, let's make our dough for the cinnamon rolls first. So in a medium bowl, we're going to add two cups of almond flour, a half a cup of protein powder, two tablespoons of monk fruit sweetener, or you can use a sweetener of your choice, two and a half teaspoons of baking powder, two teaspoons of xanthan gum, one teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of ground cardamom. I just love the flavor that the ground cardamom adds to the actual dough of the cinnamon roll. It just adds like a little, Little, it's like it brightens up that cinnamon flavor and really makes the roll taste authentic. We're gonna stir that together until it's combined and now we're gonna add in our wet ingredients. To the dry ingredients, we're gonna add a half a cup of melted butter, a quarter cup of sour cream, and a quarter cup of hot water. Stir it together until everything is combined. Next, we're gonna move on to our fillings. So of course, you're gonna need some melted butter, so get that prepared. You'll need around two tablespoons of melted butter. Set that aside, and then let's move on to our cinnamon sugary mixture. So of course, we're not using sugar. We're gonna be using um, a sugar alternative. I'm gonna use golden monk fruit in this recipe. I like the golden flavor. Um, most cinnamon rolls do require like a brown sugar. You could use regular, like if you just have your erythritol or monk fruit or allulose, whatever you wanna use, you could actually use instead of like a golden monk fruit or a brown swerve. So whichever one you wanna use in this recipe, you can use. You're just gonna need a quarter cup and then add in one teaspoon of cinnamon and then a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg and a pinch of salt. Whisk that together until it's combined and now let's roll out our dough. So the dough for the cinnamon rolls, I like to roll it out in between two sheets of parchment paper. It's very, very sticky, so you kind of just want to pat it down first and then roll it out with your rolling pin. You just want to form a rectangle shape and it needs to be around like a quarter of an inch or a third of an inch thick. Just enough so that like, it makes a decent amount of dough layer for your cinnamon roll. Next, we're going to brush on our melted butter. and then goes on a sprinkling of our sugary sweetener mixture. Mm -hmm. 
Next, we're gonna roll it starting from the long edge and use your parchment paper to help you roll it because like I said, this dough is sticky, so you don't really wanna touch it with your fingers. So guide it over using your parchment paper until it's completely rolled. The next step is to cut it. Now, the dough's sticky once again, so I recommend either using like um, some oil, like put some oil on your hands to help you cut it or um, water too as you as you hold it. You could even put it in the refrigerator, just kind of let it harden a little bit and then it will make it easier to cut. I didn't really want to do that just because I was impatient and wanted to have some cinnamon rolls right away. So I cut these into these right away. It, the dough was super soft and sticky so it made it a little bit more difficult, but you know, I don't care. I don't care what they look like. They kind of smush down a little bit, but you can puff them back up. Put them on a baking tray or a baking dish that's lined with a sheet of parchment paper on the bottom. And then we're gonna bake it at 325 degrees for around 16 to 20 minutes, just until the tops start to get golden brown. The next thing to do is to make the final topping for your cinnamon rolls. And now I did say that you could have two options, which is a sweetened glaze or the traditional cream cheese frosting, which is what I like. So to make the glaze, all you're gonna need is two tablespoons of melted butter and a half a cup of confectioner swerve or powdered uh, erythritol or monk fruit, whatever powdered sweetener you wanna use here and then two teaspoons of vanilla. Mix that together and then pop it in the microwave for around 20 seconds just to thin it out and get it really liquidy and then drizzle it on top of your cinnamon rolls. Now, if you're like me and you like more of a cream cheese frosting, well, then just in a small bowl, take some softened cream cheese. You'll need around eight ounces of softened cream cheese and then add in a half of a stick of butter, which would be four tablespoons and a half a cup of confectioner swerve or whatever powdered sweetener you wanna use. And then beat that together until it's light and fluffy and spread it on your cinnamon roll. These cinnamon rolls are seriously the best creation ever. I love them. They're perfect the next day too, so you can enjoy them throughout the week. And I mean, holidays are coming up, so this would make the perfect breakfast when it's holiday time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell down below so that you get notified every time I post new keto recipes.